Harvard Nurses Study, published in the prestigious journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, funded in part by none other than the National Dairy Council itself, found that the association between milk intake during adolescence and severe physician-diagnosed teenage acne was even more marked for skim milk than for other forms of milk. This may be because there's so much more estrogen in skim milk. Researchers found 15 steroid sex hormones in commercial milk right off the shelves, and the highest levels were found in skim milk, compared to 2% and whole. This study involved asking women what they ate years ago in high school, though. I mean, who can even remember? So the next year, Harvard researchers studied milk consumption and acne in adolescent girls directly, following 6,000 girls aged 9 through 15 for a few years, and found the same thing, a positive link between intake of milk and acne. Maybe it's just girls, though? So next they study milk consumption and acne in teenage boys. And here we go again, a positive association between intake of skim milk and acne. And it doesn't appear to be an issue with you know, bovine growth hormone injections or added steroids. This is just what milk contains naturally. It should surprise no one that milk contains such a heavy complement of growth-enhancing hormones. Milk is, after all, specifically designed to make things grow.